Hello and welcome to our tutorial on using loops in PHP. Um, loops are good for situations where you need to have a command run over and over again, specified number of times or even infinitely if you want, which usually isn't a good idea, but I guess you may find a reason for that. Um, so we're going to go over the four different types of loops here in just a second, show you how each of them work, and uh, run each of them so that you can see the output on all of them. Okay, now the first type of loop that we're going to go over is a while loop. Um, what that means is you're wanting to execute an action over and over again while a statement is true. So we'll go ahead and we'll just put a simple print statement in here first. Something to, you know, go before the loop shows up and everything. And then we'll get into the meat of the actual loop. Um, of course, you're going to start off with the word while and then you're going to put in a statement let's see in this case we'll do while a variable is less than four for example so as long as that variable stays at less than four it's going to execute whatever command we put in here um, in this case we're going to put the command print hello world old standard in the programming universe there and so that you can see as it's incrementing we'll go ahead and have the variable printed every time as well alright let's put a break on there so they appear on separate lines and then also you're going to have it increment itself every time it goes through so when it starts right here i is equal to zero it will go through one time and then add it to itself making i equal to one which is still less than four and it'll continue the loop until i is equal to or greater than four now this is called a pretest loop and what that means is you're gonna have the test for uh... the variable here up front and if the i is already greater than four you're never going to execute this section here but if i is less than four it'll go on through and do everything um, now as far as syntax goes you're going to want to make sure that you have these brackets here it's something that's easy to forget when you're doing the uh, the while loop like this and let's see what kind of uh, kind of output we get from that here's our while loop here going through WAMP server and you'll see it prints hello world with the uh, number of I behind it each time so that is a while loop This next one is along the same lines as a while loop. It's actually a do while loop, and this is a post test loop. So any commands that you enter are going to execute at least once before it gets to the check at the bottom. So this one, you start with the command do. You got your opening bracket there, and then we're going to do a simple print statement again. We'll do hello world like we've done in the previous, and in this one again, it's going to increment based on the variable i, and that can be any variable. It doesn't necessarily have to be i that's just one I've chosen because I know I'm not going to use it anywhere else in my program so we're going to print that and we're going to increment the variable each time it goes through now you close off your do statement and after you've gotten all the commands entered and closed it you enter your while statement and we're going to have this execute while i is less than four just like we did previously so we start off with i being zero we print hello world i becomes one and then it goes back to the top and runs again because it is less than four now this is the kind of output that you'll be looking at with that hello world hello world one so on and so forth um, you do have to be careful with this kind of statement though because you can create an infinite loop with this or any of the other loops that we're talking about today for example in this case if we said do it while i is greater than zero well i is always going to be greater than zero because it's one right here so what you're looking at at that point is a never-ending stream oh, forgot to save let me save it there real quick and there you go see how it just continues to process over and over again and that will not stop next we'll be looking at something just a little bit different this is actually a for loop and in a for loop you're gonna put 
the variable and it's incrementing and the check and everything in the actual for statement. So we'll go ahead and open up with the statement for and this is where we're going to set our variable to a specific number in this case because we are using numbers for the check. Um, then we're going to say while that variable is less than four this loop is going to continue to run and then in this example again we're just incrementing by one so all this actually goes in the for statement itself and all you have to put into the body is the command that you want to execute or the set of commands that you want to execute here we are with our open bracket again then we'll go ahead and put in here our print statement good old hello world just like we have in the previous examples print the i as it's running through the variable as it's running through and put a break there as we have in the past alright now we're going to close off our curly brackets and like I said you've got the variable initiated here to zero you've got i less than four that's how long this loop is going to run while i is less than four and you've got it incrementing by one which you can increment it however much you need to you can increment by two or three or a hundred it doesn't really matter this is just a small loop to show what can be done um, now the output of this loop is going to look like the others have using the for loop hello world all the way down The last type of loop we're going to talk about is a for each loop, and we're going to do something a little bit different with this one. Um, as you can see here, we have an array set up, the array saved to the variable class, and it just contains the names of all the students, the first names of the students that have worked on this project. And what's going to happen with this is we're going to create a loop that runs through that array and prints those names out as part of a print statement. So we'll start with our for each there, and we're going to run through the array class and we're going to save each item as it runs through in the variable name student so the first time it goes through the loop it's going to say okay the array is class the first item is Joseph and it's going to save Joseph to the student variable then the second time it runs through it will save Katrina to the student variable then Bobby then William now we open our curly bracket like we have and we'll do a print statement here that's going to bring it all together do hello world and I am and then the student name that it is on at the time so it will run through each time and it will give us a different student name when it runs through the uh, the array that we have set up and this is just to show you a little something that you can do other than simple print statements and stuff like that it is still print but it's adding a little bit to it alright now that's all it's going to take for the commands there let's go ahead and run it and you see we come up with hello world I am and then the student name after each one it runs through the entire array with that one simple loop instead of having to type out each one over and over every time with the different name well thank you for watching our video we hope you learned a little something today about the PHP loops and goodbye